Sony was one of the first companies at EFI 2011 to have its press conference, where CEO Harris Stringer came on stage and said it was now past its summer of discontent after the hacking scandals, and that it would be back with a vengeance with its new products. One of those new products is the Sony Tablet S, its new flagship tablet. The Sony Tablet S, unlike its stablemate, is a much more traditional looking tablet. The Sony has added some extra flourishes to the design, including a lip situated on the back of the device. This is said to help with the holding of the Tablet S, giving it the feeling of having a magazine in your hand. While we wouldn't go that far, the Tablet S is a decent looking tablet. Running Android 3.1, with this upgraded to Android 3.2, the Honeycomb tablet has a 9.7 inch screen and has been given some decent Sony integration. From the tablet you'll be able to link to your Bravia TV and throw content from the device to your television. It also acts as a universal remote as well. There's USB and SD card slots on board, but these seem to be covered by some rubber for protection. To be honest, it is not a great look, but this is the only black mark on what is a great looking tablet. The Android UI was slick, and as the tablet is PlayStation certified, there's plenty of choice gaming wise. While its specs may not set it out as an immediate iPad killer, the price does make it an interesting proposition. It looks likely to come in under £300 when it is launched in the UK in late September.